Welcome back everyone to Montgomery County's Engage at Home. Our guest today is a returning favourite, uh, Stuart Rosenthal. Uh, Stuart leads, is the fearless leader, editor and publisher of the Beacon Newspapers. Welcome Stuart and thank you Lily <laughs> thank you um we're very happy that you're going to be hosting the senior expo 50 plus expo again this year um tell us a little bit about it well you know the beacon has for more than 20 years had an in-person expo in the Montgomery County area and it's always a great event lots of people come and we have speakers we have exhibitors we have flu shots and whatnot and of course with COVID we still just weren't able to pull that off this year in person so last year we instituted the first virtual expo and it was a huge success we had more than 9,000 people visit the site so it was great and this year we decided to do it again so once again we have in a way, it's better than a personal in-person expo because we have lots more classes, lots more speakers, lots more entertainers, and you can come and go as you please for you know weeks. This is going on until January, so there's lots of time for people to come and enjoy all of the material that we pulled together for this expo. Oh, absolutely! And having been to both the in-person and the virtual, I have to agree with you that even though the in-person is lots of fun and you get to be you know, shouting out to everyone. What's fantastic about the virtual expo is that the Beacons put together such an incredible array of presenters, entertainers and guests. And folk don't have to just do it all in one day. They, like you said, it can go on to Couldn't the be done in one day. <laughs> <laughs> so what about if we um, get you to show us the... Um, the portal for the sure, 50 plus expo. Sure. Happy to do that. Let's share my screen here. Beautiful. Okay, great. So um, what I want to show here is that we have two keynote speakers. Uh, Diane Ream, of course, a very well-known national public radio uh, daily talk show host for almost 40 years. Uh, I had a lovely conversation with her for more than an hour. And this is the uh, image that you'll see. You can watch this whole event. We had a we talked about her books, we talked about her career, we talked about her personal life. Uh, it was very interesting, uh, wide ranging conversation. Uh, here, Dr. Mark Borsowski is the uh, recently former deputy social security commissioner. So he knows all about social security and he's talking about what its problems are and ways in which we can resolve those over time. So very interesting, very pertinent uh, material on social security. And then what information are you looking for? We have all these different uh, subject matters in our exhibit hall. So, for example, if you're looking for health and wellness oriented things, you click on this button here. This takes you to the health and wellness area of the exhibit hall. And we have insurance companies, Holy Cross Hospital. We have Maryland Relay for hearing issues. We have wound care. We have mental health, all kinds of things. And let's say you want to know more about Holy Cross Health. You click on view details. It takes you to their page. Uh, you see their silver sponsor, of course. So they have all these different images here. You click here and you learn about what's on their page, what they're telling us about. They have a, uh, a new cancer center opening in the, in the summer, for example. Uh, then you can also scroll down and see what they offer, so, uh, safely caring for seniors and their various emergency center and primary care practice. Down here, there are other resources. You can click on these to find the doctor, to read patient stories, to find a class or event. And then up here, if you want to send them an email, you just fill this out and click submit and they'll get directly an email from you and they'll get back to you personally. So that's a very nice way of visiting our exhibitors. And you can do that with all of the exhibitors um, in the exhibit hall. And that's just health and wellness. And we have so many other topics. We have arts and entertainment, continuing education, financial, legal services, housing communities, nonprofits, uh, so many things here where people can get information that they need. So one thing that I know that um, people have really found um, um, it, you know, really a, a fun thing to do is that you have um, arts and entertainment. Um, and I notice up in the top of your banner under the virtual expo in that blue banner, you have yeah, such things as speak, um, speakers, entertainers, classes. Would you show us the entertainers and classes? Sure. Let's look at entertainers. Uh, here we have uh, Baby Boomers, the Blues and Beyond. We have a, quartet, a classical quartet. We have uh, stand-up comics. We have a program about Broadway musicals. We have gardening tips and music trivia, all kinds of things here, a wide variety of entertainers. 
uh, if we clicked on classes, we would see that they come in cooking classes, exercise classes, financial, and wellness. So here's basic yoga, here's cardio yoga, here's a recipe for cauliflower, cauliflower fried rice from Holy Cross. Um, we have uh, preventing scams and uh, learning line dances, uh, how to avoid cyber scams, you know, juices and smoothies, all kinds, so many things. And we haven't even looked at the speakers, which I'll just point out too. We have yeah, please. Um, some very interesting speakers. Aboard Air Force One on September 11th, 2001. Ooh. A conversation with uh, people who were from the press, who were with the president on Air Force One during 9-11 wow. uh, in, the, in, the, in the aerial White House while that was going on, talking about what happened 20 years ago. Uh, we have uh, a documentary on Alzheimer's. We have a program on Ayurveda for better nutrition and health. Chocolate City, a history of race and civil rights in Washington, D.C. So many interesting programs here to choose from. There is so much. Basically, you've set up a community center, a university, a fitness program. It's unbelievable. It's fantastic. Thank you. That's very nice of you to put it that way. I like that. And I'd have to give you kudos um, and you and your team. The whole functionality of this website is amazing. You know, it really is so easy for people to navigate their way um, to what they're wanting to uh, enjoy. That was our hope. I'll just show you one thing, for example, here. Please. If you wanted to know more about um, this chocolate city, you'd click on view details. Here it describes what it is. If you think you want to see it, you just click on the image and it takes you right to the, uh, the wow, program. You click so on there and it starts to run. And if you want full screen, you click in this little corner here and it's full screen. Very good. Very so good, very Stuart. Simple. Very good. I'm really impressed. And one thing that I always like to encourage people to do is visit the beacon online. It is actually fantastic and it's all in color. It's terrific. And I think you've got that um, partly for this event under the program guide. Well, I'll show you two things right here. Oh, this, yes, this white, right box. This is the exhibitor hall. But if you click there, you go to the, the program guide, which I'll show ah, you next. Beautiful. But then also you can go right to the beacon and go to the next issue. But I'll, I'll click on the program guide first. Yeah, let's do and this. Is, this this has um, information about everything on the in the expo, the, all the different subject matters that are being covered and the different classes that are being offered. And it has ads from the various sponsors and exhibitors and whatnot. So it's a it's a useful little book touching what's going on in the expo. Uh, but if you went instead to uh, the beacon itself, then it would take you right to this month's issue. And there's Diane Riem on our cover. And you just click on that and you can, you can read the beacon. And this is one of the things that um, I really want people to consider doing. Um, um, you can enlarge it. You can um, yes. naturally, as we've said, see it in glorious color. Um, and it means that folk who you know are of you know have sight challenges um, love using things online. This is a, a really great way to, to enjoy the beacon. You know, you've been doing this for years, and I I love viewing it this way too. So um, here, here are the archives. You can look up old issues this way as well. So all uh, kinds of ways to see it. Very good. And if you're watching this show and you have never read the beacon before. I would highly encourage you to do that. Make it part of your regular um, monthly con consumption of smart, bright um, journalism because uh, Stuart as the editor and publisher really has a terrific team of people who are preparing stories that yes, are focused on folk who are 50 plus, but really that's relevant to all of us. We try to cover the gamut of what's happening out there as, as more as timely as you can be with a monthly publication. So. Yeah, absolutely. How long have you been doing the, um, the Beacon Force, Stuart? 30, 33 years now. Oh, my goodness. We're going to be having that 35 year anniversary soon. <laughs> so, yeah, before, nice. absolutely. Um, so, before we go, um, is there anything else that you'd like to share with our viewers regarding oh, yes. the expo? Yes. Register for door prizes. We're giving away some very nice door prizes too. And if you just give us your name and email address, that's all you have to do. We'll put you into the random drawing for prizes. And if you want to get a free email edition of the Beacon, you can click here and you want the DC Beacon, the Baltimore, the Howard County, the Richmond 50 plus, or you want nothing at all. Just tell us if you want that and we'll be happy to put you on the email list and you'll get the Beacon right in your mailbox each time, each month. Oh, excellent. So let's go back to that homepage so people know what we're talking about. 
the 2021 Virtual 50 Expo um, started 1st of November. And what date did you say it was running through to? To the end of January, January 31st, 2022. Wow. Oh and we haven't goodness. given people the website address. So we should oh, make please, sure we, we better do that. <laughs> Maybe we can put that on the, on the screen here. Beacon50expo.com, beacon50expo.com. Excellent. And what I'll do is I'll include that website address in the description where you found this episode. Great. Well, well I know you're a busy man, Stuart. I want to thank you for your time today. And uh, I really wish you well, and I encourage our viewers to pop in to the Beacon 50 Plus Expo. Thank you, Lily. I really appreciate this opportunity. And I do talk fast. So if anybody wants to find out a little more information, feel free to contact us at the Beacon, 301-949-9766. And we have people who can answer your questions and help you out. Oh, excellent. I'll include that phone number also um, in the description where people found this episode. Great. Thank you again. Thank you. You've been watching Engage at Home. And as always, I remind you to stay calm.